Does anybody else find it weird how, like, the seasons are different on, like, every single region of this island? Even here in the forest, it's like... It's like spring or summer here, and then fall right over there, and then like winter over there, and I don't, I don't even know. This is nuts. Anyway, guys, welcome back to The Witness with Dude Long Couch. You guys remember this puzzle? Yeah. Turns out it had a real easy solution. <laughs> I was actually watching the old video, just uh, looking at the board, just thinking like, what the fuck am I supposed to do with this? And I noticed that this region here is actually uh, connected, just right on the edge there by the shadows. And I was like, that's way too easy. There's no way that's the solution. So I just loaded the game up and came over here and tried it. And sure enough, sure enough, that is what it wanted. I think I made some kind of comment about how I wasn't sure whether I was overthinking it or underthinking it. Well, I think we can place this one firmly in the overthinking category. Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> so let's try and keep the momentum going here. I'm going to see if I can't pick up that... Uh, cable. It's leading somewhere. Look at all this. Get a little, uh... Wait a second. There's a line down there that's running up to something. I wonder if there's there must be more down there that I didn't do yet. Actually, can I run straight down into that area from here? I was wondering about that, like the actual entrance to the, what, what I'm calling the quarry. I think that's what everybody's been calling it. I'm not sure. Uh, or it could be this place over here. Hey, here's a pillar. Not much solved on it yet. Yeah, I guess I haven't actually found a whole shitload of uh, environmental things in this place yet. They're probably all around me all the time. And I just don't see them. I still haven't figured out what's up with this lake. I know there's something about this lake. It's not just chilling here for the fun of it. They didn't just put a lake in the game because they were like, ooh, lakes are fun. We should give people a lake to go stand by and they can just kill time and Look at the pretty vistas and the visuals. No, no, there's something. There's something diabolical going on here. I just can't piece it together yet. And it's something to do with these little squares in the water. These little, well, they're cubes, I guess. Some of them glow and some of them don't. I don't seem able to click on them. They're almost like 3D Tetris puzzle pieces. Mysterious. Alright, it's enough time wasting here. I'm just trying to look out for recorders. I thought I was doing a good job of, like, finding all the ones that I came across, but now I know that I actually have missed a few of them. And I don't just mean, like, overall. I mean, like, ones that were actually on my screen and I just didn't see them. Hey, 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 I see this. Okay, got to line that up like that. Yeah, boy. Yeah. Victory. Score. This is a really good opportunity, actually. Let me come over here and take a look at this. Does that symbol actually match? what I drew. That actually, that, yeah, that kind of does. That's a pretty damn close approximation of the actual symbol in the puzzle. So if I were to look at all these, you can kind of see like what you're looking for in the environment. I don't know if that's going to be super helpful because they're still pretty obscure, but, but that's good to know. And it seems that once you get just one of them, the other ones that's what that's what kind of gives them the outline that you can kind of see what the hell you're doing. So that's cool. But in any case, okay. This looks like maybe the entrance to this area. I don't know if I attempted this before and just sucked at it or if I didn't even try, but 
hold on one second here. This, uh, the lines in the rock here kind of looked like a puzzle. But now that I pull back and look, there's actually a ton of them. <laughs> and I don't see a starting point. Well, let me come back up here. It definitely looks like something you could trace, but I can't yet find the origin. That's got to be one. That has to be one, and it, it probably connects to this pipe or whatever on top of that building. You probably have to view it from the front, I'm guessing. We have to get in there first. Okay, well, let's see if we can't go figure out this, uh, this panel here. This one appears to be a simple separation puzzle. This game is telling me that I could have done this <laughs> at really any point. Is that what I'm gathering here? Well, I mean, uh, yeah, you can do pretty much anything in this game at any point, but I guess what I'm trying to say is I could have done this a long time ago had I found this. Okay, this might actually be a little tricky. Okay, that's how we cut out those two. Cutting out this side is a little trickier. What the hell? We might have to end up bisecting that. Yeah, they don't have to be contained. They just have to be separated by color. There we go. Okay, remember the rules. Remember the rules, Long Couch. You got this. You got this. Okay. These can be contained in one shape, or they can be separated. They cannot be angled differently. They must both be vertical, the way they are drawn. So this guy... ...can just be like this. This guy... How the fuck is that gonna work? <laughs> he's sticking off to the right there, but he's on the right side of the board. He's down there in that corner. Ah. Uh, that's not... Okay, that means... That just means that we have to separate him off... Wait. No, that still won't work. I was thinking if we try and do it like this... But that still doesn't work, because then the symbol's not contained in it. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Something... Something weird about this. Maybe I do have to combine them somehow. If there's a certain combination that allows this to happen, I'm just not seeing it right now. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I bet you what we want... This block here is gonna be the lower block, the lower right block of this symbol right here. Which means he'll come up like this. And then, yeah, okay, so it's going to be like that, and like that. Fuck. <laughs> Hold on, I I'm onto it here, I just gotta, I just gotta put it together. Uh, I think I cut out the wrong section. It's going to be, it's just this block that we cut out. Or is it... No, it's two of them here. And then... Yes. Yes. This is it. Ha <laughs> ha! I'm in the quarry! Yeah! I've been trying to get here forever! Awesome. Alright, let's, let's look around here. We got some exploring to do, guys. This is exciting.
It's very quiet in here. The water was rushing <laughs> up on that bridge. It was like filling my earphones. Headphones. Earphones. I don't know why I called them earphones. That's weird. Um, yeah. I feel like we've had a lot of momentum the last few episodes. It's, it's been quite excellent. Ooh. Some kind of machinery running in there. But yeah, I, I really feel like... Uh, <laughs> I know that the way this game is designed, there's not supposed to be like a correct order to do things. But it definitely feels like some areas are easier than others. And I kind of feel like I did all the hard areas first. And kind of dick myself over. In that way. Um. <laughs> Again, we can hear noises if we get close to that door. But we don't seem to be able to get inside from here. Alright, what else have we got? Here's a line. Runs over here. I can't cross here. Oh, it goes all the way up. Oh, this is this is like the final line. It goes all the way up to the the ray gun. Okay. Well, let's follow it the other direction. have we here? This place looks complicated. Okay, it goes up onto this catwalk type area. Oh, can I activate the boat here? I should probably do that. Great! We should be able to access this place from the boat now. Oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> I love that so much. That's such a cool <laughs> uh, entrance. Always reminds me of Pirates of the Caribbean. Great movies. Captain Jack Sparrow. Okay. Um, there's a downstairs area over there. And over here. Ooh. We've got a panel up there. I can try to solve it from here. <laughs> I still don't know what that uh, that white... So I don't know what to call those. Those little white symbols. I've been calling them tridents. That's not right. i got to think of something better. I mean, they got three thingies on them. Try... Try thingies. Try force. They're not try forces. We already have try force puzzles. Try triangles, try try triads, triads, tryhards, try hard triads. I'm rambling now. We're gonna call them triad symbols. Okay, we've got some panels down here. Wow, this looks fucked. <laughs> Separating these out into pairs of two. Ugh. And then we've got another Tetris puzzle there. It's very dark down here. Okay, that's all we got down here are these two panels, I guess. That's not activated. We're going to activate that by solving these, I guess. And then well, I guess we'll just be working our way up. Okay. Alright. We are definitely going to do this, but I just want to finish exploring first. I want to see what's over on this side. Okay, more of these types of puzzles. Separation puzzles and collection puzzles. Looks like this is going to like open up a, some kind of railroad track. Bring a train out. This is almost certainly an environmental puzzle right here. But I have to be 
probably up there to activate it. Hmm. Guess this is about all we can access for now. Wait. Oh, no, that's not a puzzle. Is it? Oh, no, you can just kind of see inside. That's weird. I saw the little... I saw the green poking out there, and I was like, wait a minute, is that a puzzle element? <laughs> but no, it's just a slit in the window. All right, well, let's see if we can pull these off and uh, see what's inside this place. Oh, this is... Oh, we've got multiple exits here. Uh, let's do this one first. Let's do... That. That. Oh, man, really? So close. Hold on. We can fix this. There we go. Alright, I guess that counts. <laughs> this seems like the kind of thing that has, like, multiple solutions. I don't know if it matters which way you solve it. It seems to be okay with that one, though. So, okay, this one can be solved by going either up or down. I guess we probably want it to go up, right? We're going to lift this thing up. I don't know. I'm, I'm just going to start trying solutions and see what happens. It's probably going to be easiest to cut out the white squares. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Hello! There's the end of an environmental puzzle. <laughs> I'm starting to see these damn things everywhere. We gotta get on the roof. Um, looks like I can open this door for easy access. And for some unexplainable reason, that reminded me, I wanted to do a progress check-in on this video. It's been a while, I think. We are at 287 panel solved plus 19. Still a lot to do in this game, guys. We're actually pretty close to the quote-unquote first ending, but there, that doesn't mean that we're done with the game by any stretch. Oh, good. is this a tutorial for this guy? Thank God. Okay. This thing looks weird. There's like a whirlpool at the top here. It's like an old shitty... Like, 50s TV kind of ripple going on. That's weird. Okay, so this is a collection puzzle with a triad. A collection puzzle that is impossible to solve. We have to grab two of them either way we go. What is happening? Oh, the ramp. Hmm. This might be the origin, but it's split. Which means it's probably not going to let me do it until we bring them together. Okay. And there's an interesting sculpture. <laughs> this person's just like... Is that like Jesus? Kind of looks like Jesus. Except he's got something. It's like a... I don't even know. Like a bird statue or an Emmy or something. I don't know. Right. Uh, so as far as this goes... I couldn't help but notice that it started off having this gem in the corner blinking. But then this thing blinked with it and they kind of... Like reconciled. I guess. So, that leads me to think that this symbol means that you get to, you have to, like, cancel something out with it, or you, you get to, like, bypass something on the board. 
Um, let's just do it this way for science. Oh, that actually raises and lowers it. Interesting. Well, stop. I want it up. Yeah, there's no question about that. It, it's, it's specifically showing that regularly that would have been a failure because the dot wasn't collected, but because this guy was here, it was cool with it. So I guess I can throw my theory about having to be encircled on three sides right out the water. <laughs> okay. Um, one dot to collect. One triad. So let's see what happens if we do collect the dot and we have a triad left. No, it's a requirement to cancel something out. It basically says that you have to leave something out. And does it have to be contained? Let, let's split it up. Yeah, and it has to be contained in your line. There you go. We are learning a lot in this video, guys. This is awesome. Okay. So, we want to collect... The... Shit. There. We want to collect these three and encircle the two at the bottom. Guys, I dare say I've got this down already. I don't want to talk big, because I'll end up with my foot in my mouth, <laughs> like, very soon. But I'm feeling good. Uh, shit. Okay. Let's do... Nah. Okay, here, here we go. I'm already, I'm already fucking up. Let's try this. Yes. Okay. Good. And it seems like it doesn't really care which dot you're canceling out. I'm guessing that eventually you'll be able to use it with like any, uh, any symbol on the board. It seems like as long as it's contained in your line, they don't really give a fuck. Oh shit. Uh, there we go. That's weird how they gave you one that just didn't have the symbol. I guess because this one's a carbon copy of it, but it has one triad, so it's just kind of to teach you to remember the difference, I guess. Got a... Okay, we have to start out going this way. That's gonna be a requirement. And I think we have to... Well, we can't... Okay, hold on. <laughs> If we go up first, we will never be able to come down and collect that one. Maybe we don't... Maybe that's the one we're supposed to ignore. But no, it's gonna get cut off. If we try that. If we try that shit. If we do... Motherfucker. Okay, this one's actually challenging. <laughs> it's just another subtle little flip on the whole formula that just completely rewrite, rewrites the way you have to think about this and the way you go about it. Oh man, we can almost get it. I'm guessing it doesn't work with more than one. Right. I'm stubbornly just trying to ignore the first one, because it feels like that's the one that they want you to not use. I don't know if that's correct. It's probably not. But 
the fact that they're like in the center of the lane and not on the on the intersections that's what's really making this one challenging fuck hey there we go that took way longer than I'm going to admit to you guys. <laughs> oh, jeez. Keep in mind, at this point, I've been awake for about 24 hours straight after uh, a really long work weekend, so I'm uh, actually feeling pretty good, all things considered. More sharp than I should be. But, yeah, some of these puzzle boards might take me a little while, so bear with me. Alright, this led down here. This is... Uh Is this going to correspond to the lift? Or the catwalk or whatever? Alright, let's try it. Okay, it made it sound like it was like not super happy about that decision, so... <laughs> let's go the other way. the hell is moving? Oh shit, it's this whole thing here. Oh man. I missed the boat. Oh fuck. Okay, uh... Ramp up. Oh, this thing affects both of them, doesn't it? Is that... Okay, I think I see what's happening here. Before we go up there, I notice this panel over here. I'm just going to open this door up. And see what we have. 